Do you need help contouring and highlighting your face? Don't worry, I've got you. My name is Danny. I'm a mid-30s stay-at-home mama, and I love teaching women all about makeup. This cream makeup I'm using with a brush. This is the 3D brush, and I'm just applying the contour straight from the tin, straight from the palette. I squeeze my brush a little bit to get more of that defined line when I apply it. Then I ease up on the brush and I let that fluffy end do all of the blending for me. So I am applying the contour and then I'm blending it out right away. I'm applying this contour after I have already put on my main highlight, which is my foundation color. So I left some spaces open on my face so I could just pop that contour in. The contour is a thicker consistency and it does provide coverage. So when you fill in those spaces, you are gonna get the coverage that you need. I'm applying to areas of my face like my forehead, my cheekbones, my jawline, my nose, and that's going to create that natural shadow. Right here is the brightening highlight. This shade is going to be lighter than your main highlight or your foundation color. This is going to brighten up the center of your face and it's also going to draw your attention to areas of the face that you want to highlight, that you wanna show off, like your eyes and your smile. I flip to the smaller end of the 3D brush to apply my brightening highlight. I just find that these areas of the face are a little bit smaller, so the smaller end of the brush really does a great job with those detailed spaces. Flip over to the fluffy side, and now I can apply my lip and cheek. The lip and cheek is so versatile because you can apply it to your lips and your cheeks. Go ahead, use a brush if you want, or your fingers, whatever works. This is the final look. Follow me for more tips.